this is the arcing horns added to the bushing insulator. The purpose of this device is to protect the insulator. This insulator is designed to withstand the voltage of 6 kilovolts. But in case of lightning or some defects on the line, the voltage can rise above these limits. And to protect this insulation surface from the char from the surface current from the discharging along this surface, the arcing horns are invented. So in case the voltage is higher than the design value, there is the arc between these horns. There are too many objects here, but still it is possible to simulate this device with quick field. So I will start quick field. And this is the geometry model. Again, I use the background engine, the square box, to simulate the air outside the insulator. I will make this engine the transparent one, so you can see what is placed inside the air box. In fact, I have only two objects. I'm not interested in the electric field distribution inside the conductors. So I have only the insulator, the air outside, and the high voltage. No, this is the, the high voltage, this one, surface of the conductor, and the ground, grounded conductor. Now let's build the finite element mesh. Here it is. Let's look inside. just to check what the mesh looks inside. This is the finite mesh distribution inside my model. Now let's take a look at the simulation result. Again, I will hide the air box. And this is the electric potential distribution along my insulator surface. I may adjust the field picture and switch on the vectors. So you can see how the discharge paths will look like. And I can switch on the electric field stress distribution. 
I'm interested in electric field strength in the air, so I will unhide all objects and use the cut plane. This is the electric field stress distribution in the air near the upper arcing horns tips.